pen is a classic gift, be it a birthday, graduation or promotion. We're not talking ballpoints here, but rather the Rolls-Royce models in sleek metal or sumptuous wood. The quill dates back to about 700 AD. Made from a bird feather, its tip had to be repeatedly dipped in ink. Messy and inefficient, the quill remained the norm for more than a thousand years, until 1884, when an American invented the fountain pen with its built-in refillable ink barrel. But the true revolution came with the no-fuss ballpoint pen, patented by two Hungarian brothers in 1938. Handcrafted wooden pens can be made from just one type of wood or from a combination of woods. Here some 50 different kinds are used, ranging from maple and oak to rosewood, ebony, olive wood and purple hard. When using just one type of wood, the craftsman runs the block through a bandsaw, cutting a 15 by 15 mm wide strip. Then with a radial saw, he cuts that strip into two pieces, each about 5 cm long. These will become the pen's top and bottom casings. Using a tool called a drill press, a hole is bored roughly 7 mm in diameter, right through each piece. Making a pen from a combination of woods takes a little more work. Instead of using a block of solid wood, a body is constructed by gluing together thin planks of contrasting woods. Once the glue dries, a wood planer removes the excess and smooths out the sides. Then just as he did for the single wood pen, the craftsman cuts the block into 15 by 15 mm wide strips. Only this time, he slices diagonally, so that each strip will showcase the multiple woods. Again, he cuts pieces for the top and bottom casings, then drills a hole through them. From this point on, whether one or more woods, the process is the same. Two brass tubes are coated with glue, and each one inserted into a casing. A few drops of water are added to expand the adhesive into any gaps between the tubing and surrounding wood. These brass tubes will house the pen's mechanism. The glue takes about an hour to dry. Then the worker uses what's called a hand mill to square all the angles and remove the excess glue. For the skillful part. He turns the casings on a lathe to shape them. First he rounds them out. Then using a series of tools he gives each casing unique detailing. The grooves are highlighted by the heat that friction generates, burning them dark. When the design work's done, the craftsman runs sanding cord inside the grooves. Then he sands the surface three times with progressively finer sandpaper. To protect the wood, he varnishes the casings with four coats of hard wood floor varnish, sanding between each application. When the last coat dries, he can assemble the pen, starting with the tip. He glues it to the bottom casing, tapping it with a mallet to ensure it's fully inserted. The tip is made of titanium, a highly resilient metal. Next comes the clip, also made of titanium. He 
glues this onto the top casing. Finally, using a vise, he forces in the pen's mechanism. The mechanism houses a replaceable ink cartridge. A titanium ring joins the two casings. As an added touch, the pen can be personalised with an engraved clip. And the gift box can bear the recipient's name, which is nice.